Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to see that how we can fetch a movie information using Python. Okay, so for that we are going to use a library. You can see IMDBPY. Now it is a Python library based on the IMDB, Internet Movie Database. IMDB stands for Internet Movie Database. Okay, now in this database, it is a programmatically designed database. Okay. So in this database, we have information about the movies, TV shows, actors, directors. Okay. So using this uh, library, what we are going to do, we are going to fetch the movie name. First, we'll get the list of movie names. And then from that list of movie names, we are going to find, uh, we are going to choose the particular movie for what we want means for the movie which we want the information about the cast director and all the information about the plot okay and then we are going to fetch uh, that movie information so this is the particularly uh, functionated work which we are going to do in our this video so for that first of all we have to import this library imdb py so let's just you have to write pip install imdb py okay it will take several seconds and then it will just in my case i have already installed so it is giving it is giving the message that requirement already satisfied in your case if it, you have already installed then good but if not then it will take some it will download some libraries and then it will be stalled okay now let's come to the code now in the code first of all when you have successfully installed you have to import the imdb after importing it you will get cinemaker okay now it is a class so what you have to do using this library of this class we are going to create an object okay i for suppose i now this i holds is this the object now this i has some methods means this object has some methods present in the cinemaker using that we are going to search our movie okay so for that first of all we have to take input for our movie name for the title so that's why we have taken a movie and in this movie we are going to take input from the user prompting enter a movie name now this movie holds the name of that movie okay now what we'll do using the object ia we will use the method search underscore movie which is present in cinema go and in this method we'll put our movie name so that that title will be searched then after this line is executed we'll get items list of items including means that list will include the movie name okay the title and the year it will store some information about that movie okay and it will be means there will be several information it will be not just for single movie there could be multiple movies with the same name or suppose if i'm searching a particular word for suppose i'm searching ready so ready can be a single name of the movie also or it can be a part of the title of a movie also means movie could be a four or five uh, words so ready can be one alphabet or one word of that particular title so it will give all the results okay it is not going to give only ready it is going to give us return the result in all the movies names ready is there okay so i hope you get that we'll see in the example also when you will when we'll execute it okay so not to worry now then we'll print because this items has the list of movie names so we will print all the search results okay so for before printing that we'll just print a search result so that the user will easily understand that what is it what it is then because it is a list so we have to iterate for printing it so we will use the for loop now one more thing we have to print the index also now what is the use of the printing index that i'll tell you so first of all we have to print the index and the movie name also so for that what i'm going to do i'm going to use the enumerate method okay so this enumerate method allows us to print the index and the value both together in a list so for that for index comma movie in enumerate and then our list name items we are using the print function then the formatted string and we are printing the index plus one why we are doing plus one because indexing always starts from zero okay and our users should not get confused so that we are displaying the zero value means the zero index value as one so that we have initially done it plus one so that the zero value will be shown as one and then we are printing the movie title okay 
and what i have told you that there could be multiple movies with the same name also okay so for that for being specific we, have, we will print the movie year also okay now let's come to the next part this this particular line of code will give us the names of all the movies now in the movie underscore index what we are going to do the movie list which will be appear to us on that we'll just select our movie that okay this is our movie and this is the year of that movie so we want to search for this so for that we will take an input okay and that input will be based on the index value so int input so because it will be an index value so we have to take the input in integer format so that's why we have used the integer function and then we are taking the input and we are just prompting a message that enter the number of the movie you want to get info for now in the last you will see we have done minus one now why we have done minus one because we have done plus one here because we are displaying suppose let's take example our one movie is at the zero index okay now that movie will be always at the zero index only we are just displaying the index with one displaying the value with one it doesn't mean that that value will be uh means that index value will be converted to one no that index will be always at the zero we are just displaying it as one so suppose if a movie at a zero index we are displaying it as one so if we'll give one so it will take the second uh, second item of that list so for that we have done minus one here so that if you are take giving the input as one so in one minus one will be uh, automatically happen and after the minus one what will happen it will automatically take zero means one if the index value is one we, which we are giving and automatically minus one will be done in that so what will happen it will take zero only so it will be taking that exact value okay for that we have done minus one now now we have to generate a movie id so based on this movie underscore index in which we have stored the index in our uh, list of movie names items we will put that particular movie index and for that particular movie index we will generate a movie id using the attribute of cinemagor okay movie id now this movie id holds a unique id for each movie okay so that unique id will be stored in this movie underscore id for that particular index value present in our items of movies means list of items of the movies now based on this movie id we will get the information for that particular movie so how we will do that so for that in the object ia of the cinemaker there is a method called get underscore movie now this method gives us the inf all the information about the such as title year rating okay cast country and all the information about that particular movie plots also and then we will just put inside that get movie our movie id and then we will get a movie underscore info object okay now this object is you can say it is it is similar to the dictionary object it is not the dictionary object because if we'll see the type of it so it will refer to a different type okay some imdb object type but it is like a dictionary only okay so now when we know that it is like a dictionary so what we'll do first we'll print a message that movie information because this movie info holds all the information of the movie and we are going to print all the information one by one so for that we are using the print function okay so first of all let's start with the title so for the title movie info and because it's a dictionary so there is a method in the dictionary that for printing the values that method is get which takes a tight uh, which takes a key so we our key will be title all in small characters so when we'll execute this line what will happen it will give us the title then for year we are just doing the same thing means we are accessing the keys and based on this key it will give us the values for that particular movie okay then rating then journals now in the journals you will see i've used the join method now why i have used the join method and a list over here that i'll tell you first of all the journals could be i mean suppose journals are not one it could be thriller comedy it could be thriller romantic comedy so there could be multiple genres of a particular movie so for that what we are doing we are first giving the genres uh, key and for that we are expecting that it could be a value so that value will be stored in a list okay and to convert that list into an string objects we are using the string method join okay so i think you guys are, are know that join is the method of the string 
So if I'm going to explain this method, then it will be the video will be too long. So I'm not going that deep. And then the separator comma so that each object present in this list will be separated with a comma and then by a space. Okay. So this is how we will printing the journals. Then for the directors and for the cast, what we are doing. Okay, let's see in the cast because for the directors we are doing the same thing. We are just converting the directors because see the directors maybe it could be in uh, that form object form to convert that object into a string so that it could be more readable we are converting it to d then for the cast also we are doing the same thing because in a movie we know that there are multiple casts there is not one or two cast or three cast there are 10 people or 15 people also so for that what we can do we just want to print only five cast the top five cast of that movie so that it, could, it should not be so long so for that we are using an innovative way first of all as we know that it returns in an object format so first we what we output we want we want the output as uh, a string so for that we have used the string method and we have converted this uh, put the c over here okay now we have used the loop for c in movie underscore info dot get cast then we have given the list okay till this we know now what we have done here we have mentioned that i just want from zero to four means i want that i want only five casts of that movie so that i have mentioned over here i'm just doing the slicing okay and then all the list items will be converted into a string constants okay now one more thing to notice here yeah, that this line you can see this is a generator expression so this is called as a generator expression and then rest of them are all same okay so now let's just execute the cell and then see how we are going to do that so when i have executed a cell you can see it is asking me to enter a movie name or say let's let's say i want a movie ready okay <clears throat> so i just want few info means i just know th about this movie is that this movie was released in 2011 and the cast the main cast was salman khan okay so i can see here from the top ready or not the latest ones okay then the old one but i don't want i don't want the ready which was released in 2011 so i'll just the index value is seven so i'll write seven over here then it will take some time now you can see movie information title ready year 2011 rating was this what was the journals action comedy romance director anis bazmi cast was salman khan asim uh to kamal paresh rawal and <laughs> these were the top five cast okay what was the plot of movie it was based in thailand okay Prem was the name of the hero, Salman Khan characters. Okay. Country was India. Total runtime of the movie was 145 minutes. Language in which the movie was released was Hindi and English. Okay. Now let's search for one more movie. Uh, let's say Stri. It is also a Bollywood movie. So let's see. So we have got few names, 20 names based on Stri. Now you can see. There are two parts of history. So because this three is present in both of the part, so we are getting three two uh ka atang in 2024. But I have searched for this 2018 one. So I'll just write over two and it will collect the information based on that index value and then it will give us that titles three rating was 7.5, comedy and horror, director was Amar Kosik, cast was Rajkumar Rao, Sraddha Kapoor, Pankas Tripathi. Apart Sakti Kurana, Visek Banerjee, they, these five were the top five castings of that movie. Plot you can read, okay? Runtime was 128 minutes, India, and only language it was released is was Hindi. So this is how you can just generate the movie information using Python, okay? So this video is very helpful. Those who are connected with information field and who just like to collect information about the movie so for those people this movie is very interesting uh, this video is very interesting okay so i hope you like this video okay so thanks for watching the video we'll see you in the